Mustafa al Jabouri, 34 years old, also known as Benzema, has long been connected to the Foxtrot network and was convicted of crimes along with Raw Majid, more known as the Kurdish Fox, as early as 2015. In interrogations, Benzema himself has said that the two got to know each other during a previous prison sentence. Mustafa got well known by the Swedish public during 2023 when he was a close business associate and member of the infamous Foxtrot gang led by Raw Majid, the Kurdish Fox. Mustafa has now met his fate in an extremely brutal way. The last months of his life were very dramatic, and shocking events kept unraveling with every day that was passing. Here is a quick rundown on the story of the gangster that faked his own murder to collect the $1 million prize money that was put on his head. He succeeded, then a couple of months later he dies in the exact same country, same city, and in precisely the same way that he previously had faked. For years, Benzema was part of one of the most notorious gangs in Sweden that earned millions by smuggling and selling drugs. They were known as the Foxtrot Criminal Network or Foxtrot Gang. They've had extremely violent conflicts with among others the Bandidos Motorcycle Gang and the Dallin Criminal Network or Dallin Gang. But in the midst of their most publicized war with the Dallin Gang, during the summer of 2023, key members of the gang had a falling out and they started beefing with each other. They started splitting up to different factions, but this was only the beginning of the horrific events that would follow. Ismail Abdo, also known as the Strawberry, once a close business partner of the Kurdish Fox, now had a personal dispute. This internal conflict would cause even more violence and destruction in Sweden and abroad. After several beatings, robberies, and shootings abroad against each other, the conflict between the Strawberry and the Kurdish Fox would get even worse. Benzema was loyal to the Kurdish Fox during this point in time. In Istanbul, in Turkey, on September 6, 2023, on CCTV footage, it could be seen that two men arrive on a moped. One of them hopped off and fired several shots towards five people, members of the Foxtrot gang and loyal to the Kurdish Fox and Benzema. These five people, in turn, fired back and no one was seriously injured. As immediate revenge for this shooting, Ismail Abdo, the strawberry's mother, was shot dead inside her house just a couple of days later in Sweden. Not even someone's mother was safe from this point on. The shootings and bombings become a daily event both in Sweden and in other countries. Many people lost their lives. Some of them was just random people from the public that just happened to get in the way of these ruthless gangsters. For more details about these events, watch our other videos about the Kurdish Fox and the Foxtrot Gang. On Sunday night, October 15th, a famous Swedish rapper called Fiddy, known for his gang ties and connections to the Kurdish Fox, announced that he would go on Instagram Live. This would happen at 8 at night, Swedish time. And a special guest would appear. We will go through what was said and revealed in this Instagram Live. By this time in the previous days, there is a rumor going around, especially online and in the media, that the Kurdish Fox so-called right-hand man for his drug operations, Benzema, is now dead. Nobody seems to have seen or heard from Ra Majid, the Kurdish Fox, for weeks at this point. Is he already dead or locked away in a cell somewhere in Iran? Nobody knows. Supposedly a price was put on Benzema's head. According to these rumors, the strawberry, Ismail Abdo orchestrated so that Benzema was arrested and then killed in Baghdad, Iraq. A short video circulating online showed a bloody man sitting in the driver's seat of a car, appearing to have been shot dead. When Benzema's friends started posting Instagram and Snapchat stories during the week of this video circulating containing rest in peace and pictures of Benzema, the rumors seemed to be true. October 15, 2023 the Foxtrot and gang-affiliated rapper, Fiddy, went live on Instagram. After a half hour of playing some new upcoming music, the rapper and other members of the bro gang revealed that the secret guest had joined the live. The guest was no other than Mustafa, aka Benzema, alive and well. He sat down posing with a golden 47 as there was three masked and armed gunmen standing behind him with automatic weapons posing as bodyguards. He claimed 300 men was guarding his house. Benzema made several interesting statements during the Instagram. Benzema claimed that the Strawberry is a police informant, that he has worked together with the police in several countries, a big no-no in the criminal world. He also claimed the Strawberry paid $1 million to have Benzema killed in Iraq. 
Benzema caught wind of this, and with the help of a camera crew and actors, he faked his own murder in Iraq and then collected the bounty, price money for his own life, which he claimed was $1 million. He proclaimed that he would donate a half million dollars to charity and that the other half of the strawberry's money would be used by Foxtrot in the war against the strawberry. Benzema also said that the strawberry, a.k.a. Ismail Abdo, only kills completely innocent people and has not harmed one single person actually involved or tied to this conflict with the Kurdish Fox and Foxtrot. He claimed that the strawberry was behind the bombing that killed a woman, a 24-year-old student that lived next door to the targeted house that was blown up in September. He also claimed that the Strawberry and his crew, the Zero Criminal Network, was behind the execution of 13-year-old boy named Milo. The boy that was found shot in the head and dumped in a wooded area on the south side of Stockholm in the middle of September 2023. Leading members of the bro gang closely tied to Foxtrot, some of them were in the Instagram live session with Benzema, get arrested and detained in Tunisia in late October suspected of gangster terrorism. With key players behind bars. The wind seems to be blowing in another direction. Foxtrot is in deep trouble. Mustafa or Benzema shortly after these events announces in November that he has taken a step back from the Foxtrot gang some time ago and has started his own organization called La Liga. The name of the organization derives from a police operation against Mustafa that started at the end of 2022. Police called this operation La Liga, according to Benzema himself. Benzema is active online on Instagram and keeps going back and forth with Ismail Abdo, the strawberry, and they are dissing each other. Benzema is also taking shots at the Kurdish Fox at this point. In the beginning of January 2024, the strawberry makes an appearance on an Instagram live session between gang members. He asked the other people on their Instagram live to also show their faces and mocking them for being cowards. He also says, I'm going to hunt down all of you. Just days after this Instagram live session on January 8, 2024 in Baghdad, Iraq. Benzema is driving alone in his black Mercedes during a minor traffic jam when a man runs up to the car and passenger side window. A young man in a gray looking hoodie pulled out his gun and emptied the clip into Benzema's car. 15 shots was fired. Mustafa, Benzema, did not stand a chance and was boxed in. His body is riddled with bullets and he dies inside his car almost exactly the way he had acted it out just months prior. Shortly after the shooting, some members of the public managed to apprehend the suspected shooter. His picture was released by Baghdad Today News. The shooter is a 19-year-old man, a Swedish citizen, originally from the country of Albania. We actually made a video about him about another murder in Sweden in 2022 where he was involved with getting some weapons delivered for a murder to take place. He was only 17 years old at the time and only received 11 months of youth care for his role in the case. For those familiar with Benzema and his social media accounts know that he was very active, especially in the last few months. All his enemies, including former friends, celebrated the demise of Benzema online. A video posted by the rapper number Uno showed people lighting off fireworks. Ismail Abdo the Strawberry and two top members of the Zero Criminal Network or Zero Gang allied with him posted a pictures of themselves together smiling. With Benzema being the only word written in caption. How do you think all this will end? Will 2024 prove to be even worse let us know down in the comment section.